вот это вообще нормально было. Мне даже понравилось, даже в ушах зазвенело. Согласен, по наунии хуйня. Такая погода мне больше нравится. О, смотри, 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 идет сюда. Это вообще нормально было, мне даже понравилось, даже в ушах зазвенело. Согласен, по науне хуйня, такая погода мне больше нравится. Russia has launched a counter-offensive in the Kursk region. Against this backdrop, talk has once again begun about the goals of the Ukrainian forces' daring invasion of the region. According to the Financial Times, the Kursk operation was the first major foreign incursion into Russian territory since World War II. The plan was always risky. The risks are growing and the strategic benefits are still unclear. Ukrainian forces achieved a tactical victory, capturing about 1,200 square kilometers of Russian territory after a surprise attack on August the 6th. The operation helped restore some faith in Ukraine's offensive capabilities, changing the narrative of the war. But so far, Ukraine has not succeeded in its goal of forcing Moscow to divert forces from the east. The overall success of the invasion will now depend on the losses Ukraine suffers in holding the territory, possibly for months, analysts say. And those losses will depend on the tactics Russian forces use to push back the Ukrainians. Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, said the outcome from Ukraine's perspective depends on the relative resources committed by each side. The important thing is not that Ukraine diverted resources. This is normal, as long as Russia diverts more, he said. If Russia had played the long game, devoting only limited resources to Kursk, it could have further stretched and destroyed Ukrainian forces. Russia launched a counter-offensive and said it had quickly recaptured about 63 square kilometers of territory from Ukrainian forces on the left flank of the Kyiv takeover. However, Deep State said Ukraine was still making progress in the north. President Volodymyr Zelensky said Friday that Russian troops had begun a rapid offensive but had made no significant gains. He also said Ukraine would use the seized Russian land as bargaining chips in any future peace talks, which could mean holding it indefinitely. The Ukrainians have also stopped bringing in new reserves. They have started moving less and instead digging in more, a source in Russian military circles told the FT. According to Lee, Ukraine has made new long-term commitments in its offensive on the Kursk region. Kyiv has created an extended front that will have to be continually supplied and reinforced, potentially to the detriment of its offensive lines in Ukraine. Ukrainian forces can use the cover of the forests to dig in, but that advantage will disappear in winter, Lee added. Ukraine's ability to rotate its units or send reinforcements is also limited. The country is still in the early stages of replenishing its troops after the introduction of new mobilization law. Officials say the mobilization is proceeding as planned, but it will take another three months before the newly trained troops can make an impact on the battlefield, said Alexander Savitnovich, head of the Parliamentary Defense Committee. The invasion of Kursk has not prompted Putin to redeploy his better-trained assault forces from Donetsk. That goal was not achieved, Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sirsky acknowledged earlier this month. 
but he claimed the Russians were deprived of the opportunity to maneuver their units and prevented from sending additional forces to Pokrovsk.